Right guys, Dan Hendrickson here. We're at Clevedon Golf Club today, playing golf with uh, Bob Anderson, darts royalty, and I'm also playing with John Morgan, who, very, very special guest to me on this uh, on this show. We're gonna do a little what's in the bag with John and, uh, and see, uh, see what he's got in his golf bag. John, how are you Danny boy? How you doing mate? Yeah, sweet as a nut. Right, let's have a little look in this golf bag. I mean, let's start with the golf bag. Look at this little beauty. There's got to be a story with this. It is, it was uh, a story well, with everything. So there's got to be a story with this one. Well, British Masters first one back for the European tour. Yep. I actually got it at Close House, which it says it all. Lee yes. Westwood let me have it. I did, was a bit of a scab. I was actually following him round. I was actually walking with him and I said, I love that bag. He said, well, John, you can have one if you want. There's a couple still left up. And I I did say I would take one, so I, I ran up there, pestered Jonathan Lupton, who's the main man up there, and yeah, he let me have one. So Lovely. there you go. So been using this bag, absolutely love it. Loads of nice little pockets, but yeah, you know, it's the clubs that make the difference, and you know, it's uh, got some nice bats, got some nice backs. So on that note, then let's have a little look at what you've kind of got in here. So let's start with wedges down the bottom. Let's go well, there. I love my Mac Daddies. Daddy Fours always was a Vokey guy, but yep. uh, over recent time it's been the old uh, Mac Daddies and 50, 50, 56, 60. Yes. Um, normally I had that 55, like a lot more or less, kind of like normally I have like six or seven banks on it, but my grips are absolutely knackered, so I need right. them replaced. Yeah. These bad boys, you can tell, uh, these are the new Forge Tech okay. Kings. Cobra. Um, they're Cobra with the tungsten weight and everything, and it's, it helps the ball get up in the air. Yeah. Uh, I don't need any help with that, but we're, uh, the Europro is sponsored by them, so I got a nice little freebie there. So yeah, I've been using yeah. those. Take it, take it. Um, and then I got old uh, the old magical two iron, you know, Shing Lowry kind of two iron, absolute bolt of lightning. This thing. And so what is on that? A, That's the uh, Strix and ZU65. Yeah. 18 I, degree two iron. Yeah, I did have the 85, but my mate nicked it off me. Okay. Yeah, he liked it. So uh, I let him have it. And you've got, what shaft have you got in there? I just got the old uh, KBSs, okay. you know, the Tour Hybrid, Tor you know, prototypes. 105Xs. It is, mate. Okay. So it's a bit, bit uh, stiff. Iron, iron shafts? What, you put, what have you got in your iron shafts? They're just meter shafts and um, NS Pros. NS Pros, and, yeah. And uh, they yeah. X? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're well. X. 120 gram X flex. But it's weird, you know, I was always an S3 sensor core kind of guy, so a really heavy, yeah. heavy club, and it helped me slow the swing down. And I obviously I had a little bit of give, so, yeah. you know, that's what I got my tour cards with way back when, but, uh, you know, things have changed. And, and are you uh, a big one for messing about on tour when you were messing about with shafts and things no, like that? No, no. You I, just, like, whatever worked? Well, I did love the trucks. Yeah. I mean, the trucks will tell you I love them probably more than they would have liked. Um, <laughs> but I, I love going on there, and it was like a kid in a candy store, as you could possibly imagine. <laughs> Don't really use a three-wood or a hybrid or anything like that. That's what a hybrid. Is that? It's a It's a Cobra. It's a new one. Um, yeah. Oops, excuse me. Uh, you know, that's a new one. It's got like a nice yeah, matte S finish to it as SC2 well. It's two hybrid, so it's a yeah. 17 degree. And as you can tell, it's probably been hit about twice. So 17 you don't really degree. Use it, right? I don't really yeah. use it. It's kind of like my mates have given it a try, but it's a really nice club. And yeah. you just find hybrids for me always want to go left. I just don't know why, but they always want to go left. Yeah, okay. Now, comes to this big beast. Now, I had to get my own shaft. It's the old uh, Adila yeah. 60 TX, so I've gone for lighter. Synergy. So, Synergy. Which was in, they put that in the Callaway. So yeah. The Callaway Rogue Driver, that was the kind of stock shaft that went in that. But this is the prototype. I see that, yeah. So this is the newer version of it, and uh, Callaway gave me that in the Rogue. And uh, I've stuck with the uh, last year's model of the Cobra King F9. Yeah. And um, really works well. I hit it better than I think I do the new one, me personally. Nine degree, weight push forward. Weight push forward. And, get that uh, spin down a little bit. Yeah, and I've always been a bit of a spinner. So I've okay. had to get that spin down as much as I can. And I hit the ball extremely high nowadays. Never used to. Good flight, but, uh, Really good flight. Yeah, it is good, mate. And I, I feel I can do a lot more with it. I mean, I've tried the newer head, not just for me. It's just not for me. Yeah. You know, and uh, yeah, and obviously my mates Bubba Whips. You know, these were a company Bubba Whips. They put these in the lockers for the Ryder Cup, and. Uh yeah, my mate uh, Reese Reese Lightning over in uh, New Zealand. Yeah, who does top tracer for um, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, for everyone. So yeah, Do you keep them in. They're just little alignment sticks for when you're out practicing. Exactly, and mate. About. And obviously the Scott Redmond beautiful stock wars. What well, used yeah. to be on Eddie Pepperell's bag. You know when he had the big bag there. It's a Banksy logo. Bit of Banksy here, and then Mugsy is my nickname, and it yeah. says loves it. I do's. Yeah, and, and that do's. was all down to. Uh, 
That was all down to Scotty boy. So, so that and all of these, then the head cover, the putter head cover as well. The putter head cover is mint. Uh, look at yeah. that, that was his old Levi's. I think he's about a 58 waist. <laughs> and I think, uh, yeah, he, I mean, he made a sh boatload of these babies. So yeah. yeah, Scotty, he's a good lad. And this baby is an absolute gem. Well, talk to me about that one. Well, yeah. Where did that one appear from and how long you've had it? And Yeah, I mean, I've had it a while now. I mean, it's been stuck in the cupboard and my mate had a bad one. I couldn't really get that fixed, but uh, this one was repairable and uh, yeah, sent it to Scotty, his good friend. Um, yeah, did it all up for me yeah. and uh, yeah, got it redone and honestly. So is that an old putter that you've just brought back out? Yeah, I've had it for years, but I just, yeah, I just never brought it out. You know, it was always a bit too wrecked. And yeah. you know, when you've kept a club like that and you've kept it out in the open for too long or in yeah. a damp place, you absolutely obliterate it. Yeah. So we coated it with something different so it's going to sustain it, but you can still see in the face it wants to go that greeny color, yeah. you know, because of the copper. But yeah, lovely putter, very light. I like a light shaft with a pencil grip. It's handy having a lighter putter. Yeah. You know, too heavy, light. you feel like you get a bit flippy, you know, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, there you go. And then what the golf ball do you use? I use a Pro V1 and I use the TP5, you okay. know, and uh, I like both those balls. Yeah, I think yeah. they're really good. I'm intrigued to see the Bridgestone and uh, play the Strixon. I've got a couple of Strixons to try, yeah. but I do like a bit, a bit of variety. You know, there's more than one way to do it. And, yeah. you know, I, you know, it's you're been... happy to try a few different options. Yeah, definitely. Levels, Gloves well. wise, I mean, whatever's free, really. Yeah. Yeah. The tight <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, nice uh, tightless Callaway, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm happy, but uh, all in all, mate, it's lovely. Lovely. Well, thank you very much for your time and, um, showing us what's in your golf bag mate. Top man Dan, thanks mate. So really cool to catch up there with John. So like a lot of good players that you see with the what's in the bags, there's lots of clubs in his golf bag that he just likes the feel of, likes the look of, and they generally stay in his golf bag. Let me know, put your comments down below. I'd like to hear what you say. Have you got something similar to what John's using? Don't forget if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you're seeing and uh, we look forward to catching up with you again soon.